a jump. It's not normal. You walk with Zo. A brave Utaru if ever I've seen one. But not all. Rider day. A newcomer. your guard up if you're heading southwest of Plainsong. We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like the Utaro could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. I'm here, as promised. But singing, does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fog still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the Chorus itself and the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the Chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the Chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the Land Gods alone. Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. So what happened to the Land Gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, and now they turn on us when we approach even attack us. They had always enriched the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A, a blight that, that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we barely have enough to feed our children. Must be over fertilization spread by spores. I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they're falling apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. Thank you. 
I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The... The fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osiram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> Alright. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. Bringing an outlander before the chorus, so the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session? The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so, will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, 
Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. What's that? What's that from the cordon? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. is over. Then off we go. This way, Aloy. Fighting in the fields ahead. Machines don't look normal. Right. I've seen these machines before. They must have come from the corner. The other two are coming. Right. He has to move. something about all of this. I'm right. Then, yeah.
It is an honor to be in your presence, Outlander. <laughs> machines. These machines are stronger, deadlier than me. There's more than just me in the same land. Oh, no. That was a well-placed hit! The trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Fire power! power. 
down. Now onto the cordon. That's all of the machines. Let's go. Right behind you. An outlander. Unusual. But... We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. We shouldn't linger here. We should head into the cave. May the land gods forgive our trespass. that ahead like a cauldron door <laughs> to understand what's going on in there 
You're gonna need one of these. On the temple. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. Thank you.